so I'm going to take you with me as I make some lip balms today. These are the best lip balms. I've been making them for the past five years. The recipe has not changed. And I kind of do a combination of weighing and measuring. And it's a little silly, however, it has worked for me and these lip balms are very popular, so I've decided to just do what works. So I'm adding in my beeswax. I'm gonna make kind of a larger batch today. I'm doing three different kinds of lip balms. Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, which are my new balms for the fall. And I'm kind of excited. I'm ready to do this. So a lot of what I have is done um, in tablespoon measurements. I haven't converted it over to weight because it's just how I used to do it in small batches, um, but some of it is according to weight. So I'm going to add in my shea butter next. And you'll see the um, ingredients here are amazing for moisturizing. Okay, put that big one back in there. There. So now I'm adding in cocoa butter. That should do it. Yep. And finally, for now, until I heat everything through, then I have some other things I add. I'm doing my sweet almond oil. Those are the ingredients that um, will be heated over a water bath for now. And then I'll go in and I'll add one, two, three other ingredients after it has melted. So I'll be back to do that with you in just a few minutes. Okay, now that it's melted, I'm just gonna use my stick to stir and I'm weighing in my vitamin E. I'll stir that in as I pour it. Then I'm going to add in my lanolin. And the lanolin really makes it nice and moisturizing and soft. So I just stir it until that kind of melts through. And then I'll be making tubes of lip balm with this. So I'm gonna divide this right now. I'm making this really for a show that I have on Saturday. So um, I'll do it, I'll divide it in thirds and I'm going to make vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry and everything is melted and ready. So I'll add in the fragrance after I divide it and then I'll show you what they look like after they're in the tubes. I'm not gonna show pouring them into the tubes because that's kind of tedious after a bit and I don't have a big, um, pouring tray that I'm using because I'm just doing it individually. So I'm just going to hold them and I'll be back to show you what they look like in the tubes. Here they are in the tubes. We have the vanilla, the strawberry, and last the chocolate. So again, small batch, mostly for a show and you can see um, what they'll look like when I sit them out. They're all labeled and ready to go. Thanks for watching.